This is Alice. Don't worry, she hasn't drowned. But she has just had her leg cut off. My feet are fused at 90 degrees, more or less, and they have been since I was really, really young. She is one remarkable little girl. She's been through so much in her short life. She's very strong, strong-willed. And after a lifetime of pain, Alice is having her leg amputated for one simple reason, to increase her quality of life. I was in and out of hospital pretty much every year after having major surgery, so I wasn't really in school. I'm making a cake for you. The usual methods of correction weren't working, so I ended up having 14 invasive complex surgeries before I turned 12. By the time Alice was 10 years old, she was wearing a heavy frame on her right leg to help mechanically move her foot in a position more suitable for walking. When the frames and things were put on, they were on for months and months and months and we constantly had to adjust them and it was ongoing, never-ending pain. We just had to take a step back and not look at it emotionally. I can't believe how much pain, you know, pain she went through and if I could have taken her place, I, you know, I, I would have done. I honestly don't think anything could be worse than turning the screws daily on those frames. I could have sat and cried, but you can't do that because the minute you give in, you've lost all of your own strength and you're not helping your child. She's in constant pain. The toll that it has taken on her arms, because she's constantly using crutches, it has an impact on her hips, it has an impact on her lower back, but it actually it has a major impact on her quality of life. So I just had all my tests done, um, all banded up. The surgeon just came in and marked my leg. Right, baloney amputation. And I've been given this beautiful gown. So, yeah. See you on the other side. I came to hospital, I had got absolutely legless. Quite a lot's changed. Lost, lost a bit of weight. I've got a new stump in my life. First stump, hopefully only stump. It's the one. I feel pretty stiff, like I need to stretch, but I'm not allowed out of bed still. When I came out of theater, I had all the bandages on my leg. I got some new physio exercises today, um, mainly just learning to control the stump. It's tense in my butt. <laughs> Professional athletes work our routine. Mm -hmm. Feel a bit queasy. Uh, hopefully it's not ugly. But either way, it's going to be more functional than my right leg was. So that's going to go on first. So you want your top of your kneecap sort of sitting roughly there. Okay. So this is just slide over the top. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Bend your knee for me. This is so bizarre. I'm enjoying the sock. Okay. That looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in a dream. When I was younger, watching people run along the promenade at the beach, I was always kind of envious because it was so beautiful. And instead of going swimming some mornings, I wish I could have just Gone for a random bin in my own head and listen to the sea and the birds. So maybe at some point, if I could just do that. It's strange because it's getting used to a new walking pattern. I've never been able to do the heel toe movement with my right foot. That was a great moment. That was really exciting. That's what it was all about from the beginning. Alice walking. This, for us, is really the end of the journey now. That's the end of that part of Alice's life, which, which has lots of negatives. And this is now the start of really quite a wonderful opportunity for Alice. She's starting from new again for a better quality of life. I'm in, in, immensely proud of her. I've heard a scream and pain with the screws being turned in the frame. And she just got up and gone on with life. No matter what she sets her mind to, she will do. She smiles a lot more. 
you can actually see the happiness there. The doorways and the opportunities and the freedom that it has opened up for her are huge. I think she's proven that she can swim. I don't think that's up for debate anymore, so I think it'll be exciting to see her climb a mountain, maybe. Yeah, she can do anything, and she probably will. The whole decision originally was because I wanted a better quality of life. There are still bad days, but the majority of the time, it's very freeing to realize that I've grown as a person and just I'm able to do more. The decision to chop my leg off was the best decision of my life.